Welcome, my dear students and YouTube viewers, to this continuing coverage of Chapter 4, Chemical Reactions and Aqueous Solutions. In this video, I will teach you concentrations and dilutions. So, in a prior video linked to in the description below, we learned that whenever you have a solution that is a homogeneous mixture, its solute is whichever component is present in a lesser amount, while its solvent is whichever component is present in a greater amount. Molarity, abbreviated as a capital M in the world of chemistry, is one way of expressing a solution's concentration, that is, solute dissolved in solution. Simply put then, molarity is moles of solute divided by liters of solution. And I ask you, my university students, to commit this to memory. So how do you do molarity or concentration problems? To begin, we need to remember that molarity's units are moles of solute per liter of solution. Then we look at what information, especially units, we are given in our problem. After that, we determine what we are being asked to find, especially what units our final answer should have. And last, we use dimensional analysis that we discussed in an earlier video linked to in the description below, focusing on units to convert whatever we are given into whatever we are being asked to get. In other words, we use dimensional analysis to move from our starting point to our destination units, focusing on units. Units, units, units! With that said, let me show you how to do this by moving on to an actual problem from my university student's homework. How many moles of HCl are present in this many milliliters of a solution of hydrochloric acid with this concentration? And separately, how many milliliters of 5.1 molar HCl solution are needed to obtain 0.1 moles of HCl? Now, I invite you to accept these on your own first, then at play, after which I'll show you how to do the first one. This is actually, believe it or not, a dimensional analysis slash unit conversion question. It totally is using, using principles that I discussed in an earlier video on that link to in the description below, okay? What we need to do is figure out what units will my answer have? Well, these are my units. It's moles of HCl. So I need to take the numbers that I'm given and manipulate them mathematically so that I end up with units of moles of HCl. Canceling things out, getting to my destination units. That's the destination units. Now it helps, by the way, if we rewrite this number showing what the true units are. 4.50 mol molar, or capital M, means what? Well, capital M is molar, which in this case is 4.50 moles of HCl. That's what the capital M means over liters of solution. And again, I'm going to abbreviate solution as sol apostrophe n, OK? So whenever I'm dealing with a problem that's a dimensional analysis slash unit conversion problem that gives me multiple different values in the question, most of the time, not always, but the vast majority of cases, the value that you want to start with is the one that has no denominator units. Okay, over here I've got a value, this capital M, that really is an abbreviation for moles of HCl divided by liters of solution. It has denominator units because there's units in the denominator. There's a numerator and a denominator. This value, however, does not have denominator units. 35.0 milliliters isn't 35.0 milliliters per something. There's not a denominator. It's just 35.0 milliliters. So I'm going to write that down. And if you write it down truly in what it is actually saying, it's 35.0 milliliters of this solution. So I'm going to write down 35.0 mils of solution. Okay. Now I need to cancel out units to eventually get to the units that I want, which is moles of HCl. Now, I don't have milliliters anywhere in anything else. I've got liters over here. So it would help if I canceled out these milliliters and eventually got to liters, right? So I'm going to write down another set of parentheses. And my units in the denominator are going to match my units in the numerator of the previous term. Milliliters canceling out milliliters, OK? Now, what can I directly relate milliliters to? Can you directly relate milliliters to liters? Is that something you can do? Absolutely, they are directly relatable to each other, so it's OK to put them in the same set of parentheses. And then my target units are moles of HCl. And I haven't gotten to there. Just unit-wise, I've canceled out these two. I'm to liters now. So I need to write down another set of parentheses. And again, the units in the denominator will be the units in the numerator of the previous term. So I need to put liters down here. Can I put liters of solution? Yes, I can. And guess what I'm going to put in the numerator? Yeah, I've been given this term that has moles of HCl. So I'll write moles of HCl in the numerator. You see that OK? All right, you'll notice that liters cancel out liters, and I'm left with my target units, moles of HCl. That's what it was asking for. So now all I have to do is throw in the numbers. OK? This particular solution has a concentration of 4.50 moles of HCl in one liter. 
How many milliliters are there in a liter? Well, liters are big. You know, you've dealt with a liter bottle. It's about the size, and milliliters are tiny. So the tiny unit needs to have the larger number of, uh, or the larger number next to it in order to be equal to the uh, larger unit that has a smaller number, okay? Small unit, milliliter gets a big number, a thousand. Big unit, liter gets a small number, one. That should make sense. And this is one that I require you, my university students, to memorize. There are a thousand milliliters in one liter, okay? So units all cancel each other out, take me to my destination unit. So all I have to do is just plug and chug in my calculator, which I'll let you do, and you eventually get to your final answer in units of moles of HCl.